Hey guys, welcome to another segment of Top App Zach here. And today I've got a travel app for you. Now it's not a new one, but I'm still surprised at how many people don't know about this. It's called Airbnb. That's A-I-R-B-N-B for bed and breakfast. And what it is, is it's an app that links to a website and it's all about people putting their homes up for rent. Not really rent, but you can stay there. And you as a traveler going around the world, staying with people and exploring the world at a much lower price because we all know how expensive hotels can get. Now, I know travel season is not round the corner or anything, but if you are traveling, even to local places or in the region or internationally in America, Italy, wherever you like, uh, Airbnb most likely has places where you can stay. So, they have a mobile app and let's check it out. Look out at the world. Isn't it wonderful? and see all the places we call home. Hand-built hideaways, castles in the clouds, and bungalows for the beach out back. Before you travel, you can chat with your host, so you're not meeting a stranger. And you can leave reviews for each other after your stay. Make yourself at home, wherever you go. Belong anywhere with Airbnb. So let's check out Airbnb. Now, I used it recently and it looks intimidating, but it's surprisingly easy to use. So this is what it looks like when you load up the app. It basically gives a really popular destination for you to go to, but you can, of course, search for whatever you're looking for. But let's go ahead and try check out Paris. And what it is, is when you look for a country, or look for a location or a city, it'll list out various different places where people have put their homes up for you to stay. Now, sometimes it is people's homes. Other times, it's just sort of people who have bought property and they want to allow people to come stay there and it, it really depends uh, but once you you can contact the person see if the place is available for the date you can contact the person you talk to them they'll ask you some questions and you basically create an account and all your personal details have to go onto that account for verification purposes your phone number your passport number stuff like that and it's to make sure that you're not trying to scam people and they're not trying to scam people either so what happens is when you contact the person you get a little window where they're booking the place for you and uh, you then confirm the booking with them and then you pay the money online you, so there's no transaction of cash hand to hand once you get there you pay everything online you just have to go there show up and they'll welcome you and you can stay with them now the app itself uh, you can search around for various places, you can plan your itinerary, you can uh, you know, book places and get everything up there and of course you can share it with, if you're traveling with friends or uh, traveling with a significant other, you can share it with them and sort of work together to plan out your perfect holiday. So the app itself is very easy to use and using this is a great way to sort of plan things on the go and then sort of work together with the website as well at home on a bigger screen. Airbnb is something I really want to bring attention to because it's going to save you a lot of money and staying with people is definitely a lot more interesting than staying by yourself in a hotel room all cooped up alone which might be nice once in a while to have your privacy but uh, when you meet the owner of a place they'll get to tell you all the secrets and hidden nooks and crannies of their city which you really can't get staying in a commercial building so that's what I want to show you and that's Airbnb so before I go let's thank our wonderful host here which is Organica Lifestyle in Bangsa it's a very unique place, unique concept, and wonderful people. Definitely go check them out. Esports Malaysia, or ESM, was founded by Datuk Lat Shariman and approved by Malaysian Sports Commissioner last year. It received the recognition as a member nation of esports by International Esports Federation. ESM's mission is to promote, develop and regulate the local esports industry. ESM stands for Esports Malaysia, the national uh, level association that takes care of and promote and regulate the sports of uh, esports, which are video games, and mobile games, and uh, electronic. Our ch first challenge now, they ask you again, is that sports? It is a sport. It's been recognized by the uh, International Olympic Council. By focusing on the five key strategic areas, namely welfare of gamers, standardization, education, games development, and international recognition, ESM is confident that esports will turn Malaysia into the world capital of esports in the future. 
The opportunity is that gamers in Malaysia are ready for esports. We have this huge untapped market in Malaysia. Like I said uh, during our presentation, 9 million gamers in Malaysia. That's like 35% population of Malaysia, you know? That's a huge market there. And that's one of the big opportunities we have. For them to be at the international level, they must have good foundation in terms of skills, in terms of personality, in terms of attitude, you know, all these things that makes you an athlete. You know, you must have that to become a professional uh, at the international level as well. One of our roles is to educate, to educate the gamers on how can they achieve at that kind of level and to produce constant talent, constant results at tournaments as well. So that is one of our uh, strategy area, or one out of five of our strategy area, where we focus on education. Besides that, ESM is also planning to launch the country's first ever national esports league this year as to allow local gamers to harness their skills and unearth the best pro gamer in various categories in Malaysia. We have lots of plans, but the three major ones that we are going to do, one is Jelajah Esports Malaysia, uh, where we have this uh, bus, we call it an esports bus, and within the bus we install all the computers and all the uh, things necessary for esports and we go to each city in Malaysia to promote about esports and to reach out to the people who do not have this facility there. Second, we're going to have the Esports Malaysian Academy where we would educate not just the gamers but as a public about esports as well. And third is the long-awaited Malaysian Esports National League which will be happening on 1515, which is 1st May 15, 2015. Uh, our hope and target is very simple. We just want to make esports a reality in Malaysia.